Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad project. Super fun, super fast. So let's get cracking. We are starting on my website. I want to remind you, I've got a Tinkercad shape generator catalog. When you click that, you have a jam board where you can see all the shapes available with Tinkercad and their names. Those names are cool because we're going to use shape search in a minute. Now you can open mine and just look at it, but friends, you can also click on it and you can make a copy that will be stored in your Google Drive so you can use it from then on. Let's get on to our project though. You can see I am in my designs. I signed in with Google. Friends, we're going to click new and it is going to be a 3d design i want to make a building really really fast let me show you how under search we are going to type soft it brings up something called a soft box this is what we're going to use to build with don't drag the handles type these numbers so i'm going to tell you that i want 40 and i want 40 so the building is going to be 40 on a side and i'm going to tell you that i'm going to make mine 100 super simple ends up kind of looking like a building i don't want round edges so i'm going to set that back to zero so now the building has got sharp edges and it's got walls i'm going to change that wall thickness to two once again if you drag the handles you break the parameters and for the project i'm showing you these parameters are what are so cool since it's going to be a building let's change the name to fun building Alrighty, friends so let's have a little fun with this really quick T for transparent means I can see inside it. Let's bring out another cube. Let's hold down shift and let's stretch it to any number you want. But then we want to type 36. What I did was I took 40 and I subtracted these walls from it. I want to make this one millimeter thick. So let's do one and press enter. And then if we align these, let's put them inside the yellow one. You can see that that matches perfect. I'm going to hide this for a minute. And I want to bring that floor up so that the base of my building has a real tall ceiling. I'm going to just type the number 20 and it snaps to that exact height. Now I want every floor up to have 12 in between it. So if I do control D and I do control shift up, that moved it up 10. If I do control up two more, that's 12. If I let go, I can do control D again and again and again without touching anything else. And bingo, when I do show all, I have got the floors on my building. Now I want this last floor to be up here and I want the building to be taller. Friends, if we type, let's say 115, let's see how that looks. That was too high. I'm gonna change it to 110 and I'm gonna delete these floors. So you can see how that is evenly spaced. I don't want this much room up here, so I'm gonna change it to 108. So this is like when you get on the top of a building, you can walk around the edges and look over, and that is all spaced evenly, almost instantly. Now I wanna take those floors and I want to group them. So I'm gonna do Control G or hit group. And then I also wanna lock them. I don't want them to get combined with anything else. I'll do show all and friends, it is time to add our windows. Check this out, work plane, which is right here or the letter W and we're gonna put windows right there. We are gonna find another tool with search. I want you to type grid. There are several grids to pick from. This one has the fewest parameters. I want this one right here that has more parameters. When we bring it out, we are gonna make it a hole because it's gonna cut in windows. It has a size eight right now. I wanna switch it to size 10. I'm gonna leave the height at 20, rotation zero. I want three of them going across. Right now you can see it is spaced too far. So instead of 20, I'm gonna try 12 and see if those fit in my size 40. Check it out, they line up right between the walls. That's perfect. Now we need to do our up and down. We need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I'm gonna try my rows. Let's see if six is the right number or if I miscounted and we need seven. If you use your down arrow or shift down arrow, you can move them into place. That may be the right number, but they're spaced too far. This is what is so cool. If you type your 12 right here, they will all of a sudden line up and you can see if you have the right number. So I'm gonna go down to this row 
And as you can see, they're close, but I need seven rows. And let's see if the spacing looks better if I do 13. They are really, really close to perfect. I'm going to change that size to 9, though, so the windows are a little smaller on each side. Give it time for it to catch up. If we go down one arrow, you can see those split pretty darn even. Right now, what I'm going to do, friends, is I'm going to change this height to 50. And watch this. It is so cool because we did that. I can now push it back and it's going to cut the windows all the way through my building. Let's do control D. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground so we can easily rotate it this way. And just like that, your building shape has windows on every side. All right, everybody. So this is where it gets cool. Let's hide this middle section so it's not in the way. Grab all of this and let's group it. Bingo, after a few minutes, you have got cut out windows. Let's quickly shut off transparency and let's bring back those floors. Friends, it's that easy to use that sweet grid to make an awesome building with windows everywhere. I'm going to switch this to yellow just so it matches. I think that makes it even more cool. I'm going to bring down a cube. I'm going to shift squeeze this down to 15. That'll be my entry door. Let's do a line and let's group it. And this is where friends, you could just have a ball adding cool side windows and all kinds of other things to your fantastic fun building. Now friends, remember what we're learning here, how to search. We used a real cool thing called the softbox and we also used the very cool grid. Don't forget how cool those parameters are and how many other awesome options you have while working with the Tinkercad shape generators. Friends, as I wrap up, don't forget I've got the website hlmodtech.com. It has a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing lessons. Also, friends, one of the coolest things is on the bottom, a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And of course, friends, if you learned something or found it interesting, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.